okay listen uh, here you can see that i have been already created my load balance right and so now i'm going to create a auto scaling group and whatever the traffic i'm getting into my load balancer so automatically this traffic will be go to my work auto scaling group okay so we have to create as a prerequisite one target group and one auto scaling group so while we creating auto scaling group we will select so we have a load balancer existing load balancer and then we will select our target group over there so that we have to do so at last uh, i will try to create one project as well okay so i'll create a back end project i'll show you that at last i will do it okay so by using auto scaling group firewall everything i will include on that okay anyway here you can see that uh, i have a load balancer so uh, as per the load i'm getting so automatically my instance count will be increased automatically it will increase and while you refreshing your load balancer you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 automatically you'll be able to find that okay so let's go to our target group let me create one new target group for my load balancer then i will call it as uh, auto scaling target group okay auto scaling group tg that's enough so next successfully done i am not going to add these instances because not required at all okay so whatever the instance is i, I want so that automatically will uh, create what who auto, 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 auto scaling group automatically it will create auto scaling group i no need to create manually that so then uh, create a target group okay successfully done okay successfully done uh, i'll go to my auto scaling group so for that we can open another window then easily we can back and forth okay uh, so while we require target group and auto scaling group yeah so i'll go to my auto scaling group search for ec2 auto scaling group here you can see that auto scaling group launch configuration and auto scaling group uh, what is a launch configuration huh. what is a launch configuration eh? okay older version whatever it can be what is a launch configuration Eh? Ah, can? Okay, it's a template. That's it. Template means image. See, while you creating, see, uh, automatically spin up instances in auto scaling group, right? Right. So, which instance you want to create over there? So, what kind of behavior or which application you want? Right. So, that is going to determine who? Launch configuration. Then, Sumaya, what is the difference between launch configuration and launch template? We already discussed. Well, I think it took around half an hour at that time. Tell. We can create multiple versions in launch template. Then, what about launch configuration? We cannot. Then, then apart from that. Eh? Okay, latest one is launch template. Older one? Launch configuration. Which is a better one? Why? so we can have a multiple version if you want to create a version we can create a version multiple version from the existing one we no need to create a new one that's what okay and adapt is also recommended to create which launch template. launch template okay so in future we may or may not get the uh, like uh, support uh, from uh, aws for launch configuration so we maximum we have to create launch template Okay. Actually, so, when we launch this uh, launch, when we click launch configuration, ah. it pops up for launch template. Launch exactly. So while you creating auto scaling group, automatically it will pop up. So I'll show you that. So let me go to auto scaling group first. I will select auto scaling group. So we have to provide a name for auto scaling group. I'll call it as uh, OSS application. This is my Bangalore based application. So you can provide your company application name OSS application. So beneath we have an option launch template, right? See by default it is supporting launch template. So they are not recommending to create launch configuration. But if you want to create launch configuration, so we can switch to our launch configuration. See, so now I switch to configuration, but actually we have a warning over here. See, warning notification. Instead of using launch configuration to create EC2 auto scaling group, what launch template? Okay. So let me back to my launch template again. Switch to launch template. So then I will provide a launch template, but as of now, I don't have any launch template. Yesterday itself already created, but I will create one more. Okay. How to create? So create a launch template. We can click over here and automatically it will pop up a new tab over here. Okay. So then, so we have to provide uh, application name, OSS application. We can provide any name. Okay. OSS application 2 version 2. I can give, uh, then I will come to my quick start AMA. So I will select Amazon Linux. So come down, we will select one instance type according to my workload. I will give a T2 micro. If you if you select in T2 micro, you will be get one virtual CPU and one random access memory. Okay, GP. So key pair we have to select. I will select key one and subnet actually we don't need to mention because while you're creating auto scaling group, we have to mention that. Okay. So come down. 
Security group, we can select what? Auto scaling, right? Already we created one security group, auto scaling. You can see that auto scaling is G. And all traffic is already allowed over there. So then come down. That's it. Then create a launch template. Successfully done. I'll go to my uh, templates view launch template. You can see that we have a two launch template. One is application one. Another one is OSS application. What is, what is the version number? One. How to create a multiple version? So click on your launch template, then action, then go to modify template version. And, and you can see that version number two. So once you create version number two and automatically that will be popped up over here. See version number two and default version one. Come down, you can see that all versions over here. See, as of as of now, I have only one version. That's the version one. Okay, let me go to my uh, auto scaling group now. Okay, then I will refresh. Then I will select my OSS application too. Okay. You can see that security group, everything is selected, but we don't have any subnets, right? Subnet that is not selected. The next. So I will select a subnet. See, we have to select a subnet over here. I'm going to sub select a subnet A and subnet B. So whichever you want, you can select A and B because I selected subnet for my load balancer A and B. That's what I, we have to select A and B. You cannot select C. You're getting, you selected subnet C for auto scaling group. Okay, but your target group that is situated in, like uh, in A and B, then it will not work. Okay, you have to select the same subnet where you selected for your load balancer. And uh, then next. Okay, so either you can go with the health check type EC2 or ELP. What is the difference? What is the difference? One minute. Hello. Ah. Okay. Okay, sir. See, I have a two types of load balancer. One is ELB, another one is EC2. Shazia, what is a ELB and another one is EC2? What is the difference? So if, if it is EC2, then what is the health check procedure? No. Yeah, status check. See, if you're selecting EC2, EC2 going to check the status check. Instance check and system check. So what about ELB? That is going to check your application that is active or not by using which protocol? HTTP protocol. Okay, if you're selecting load balancer health check, so that is going to take protocol number, HTTP protocol or HTTPS. Okay, whichever you given over there. Okay, so if your application is active and able to access the application, so they will provide healthy. If it is not active, they will provide unhealthy. Okay, fine. Uh, then I will select uh, my uh, ELB. Okay, so if you want, you can select or else you can leave, no problem. So then next. And one more thing actually we forgot actually we need to add our auto scaling group right see no load balancer so we have to provide attach an existing load balancer and uh, choose your load balancer target group what is the target group name uh, asg target group right asg target group okay fine so come down then i will select my next okay so i will select desired capacity that is three and minimum capacity that is one and maximum capacity that is ten i can provide any value no problem so if you want, you can go with the target uh, scaling policy. Uh, how many types of policy we have? Types of policy. Types of policy. Types of policies. Uh, types of policies. Are you remember? Dynamic policy we have. Manual policy we have. Manual policy we have. Predictive we have. Schedule we have. So, what are the types of dynamic policy we have? Step we have. Target tracking we have. Okay, symbol we have. What is the difference between symbol and uh, target tracking? Sorry, uh, symbol and target tracking. Symbol and target tracking. Symbol and target tracking. It's very simple. Ah, okay, para. 
ah see if you selecting target tracking so that is managing aws only automatically they will create a matrix and they will create a value 40% 50% okay but if you selecting step four symbol we have to create a cloud watch matrix and we have to do it right so that will take around half an hour to create a matrix right we have to create a cpu utilization matrix then we have to provide a dashboard everything we have to do right or wrong because previously we done that already right so if you selecting target tracking policy so they will create the matrix you no need to do anything only select your value for example 50 percentage or 40 percentage whatever the value you want that's it so then next 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 then next then beneath we have to confirm create a auto scaling group then so that is enough so it's created a auto scaling group and what is the instance count as of now okay uh, shaizia what is the desired count which means desired count eh ha huh. ha huh. in the sense at the present time or current time how many instances you have how many instances we have three that's it okay suppose consider uh, while you creating a auto scaling group you selected three uh, desired value after a couple of minutes you don't have much workload that's what all instances has been terminated a minimum one that is keeping over you then what is your desired value what then that is what while i'm selecting so while i'm creating auto scaling group i was selecting one right sorry three but then after a couple of minutes all instances has been terminated since i don't have much workload okay so now i can see the desired value that is a capacity three i'll refresh okay so i have three instances i'll go to my uh, ec2 machine and you can see that three instances has been created right i'll go to my target group so select your target group no we don't need to add automatically it will pop up over you see you can see that we have a three virtual machine has been created three virtual machine so we don't need to do anything whatever the virtual machine creating auto scaling group according to the workload for example you have a high workload high spike then automatically it will create 10 virtual machine so that 10 virtual machine automatically added to work target. target group the user will be able to access from the load balance so the uh, public you are wherever it is okay so i'm just giving a demo so you have to create a user data whatever you want then only you will be able to access see as of now i didn't added any user data so once you add user data it will be active you can get the url uh, like a dns url or else you can provide a integration for example www.superglue.ml then you can access and you will be able to access the three virtual machine automatically randomly it will change from one virtual machine to another virtual machine any doubt no doubts no doubts okay so then we will discuss about network load balancer okay i will show a small demo about network load balancer just create a target group see we don't have any uh, types of rules over there we have only one listener in network load balancer okay then tomorrow we going to discuss about uh, route 53 or cloud front like another service that's what no doubts right